Breaking, Trump just cut off food stamps for two massive groups. Americans are cheering. We have to wonder why liberals think Obama did such a good job as president. The national debt and the shocking number of people on government programs proves he did a poor job. A good president helps restore the economy, so that Americans have job opportunities. Instead Obama made it easy for more and more people to take instead of give. A thriving nation is one full of people who work. They earn a living to support their families. They take ownership of their own lives. A nation full of people getting food stamps is weak. Those people need the government to take care of them. That's a bad situation to be in. But now that President Trump is in office, things are changing. We see jobs coming back into the country. The stock market is booming. Companies have promised to invest in American labor. On top of that, Trump is getting the federal budget under control. He is reforming government handout programs. The first one to get serious changes will be food stamps. And a few freeloaders are getting the boot. From Yes I'm Right. Overseeing the Food Benefit Program, SNAP, is the U.S. Department of Agriculture, who reportedly has almost 43.6 million people getting food stamps as of April 2016. On that massive meal ticket are a particularly grotesque bunch of criminals who have been convicted of sickening sex crimes and murder. These violent perverts are among those getting the boot. Felons aren't the only ones on the potential chopping block. Those who are lucky enough to win a large lottery sum or gambling winnings aren't so lucky that they get to keep their welfare and windfall of funds. If they happen to spin through that cash and wind up in need again, they can get on welfare, but the proposal would prevent them from being on it while benefiting from their cash prize. Imagine that. Under Obama, Murderers and sex offenders were getting free food, courtesy of you and men. Even worse, people who won millions on the lotto or gambling were getting their food bill comped by the U.S. taxpayer. Why was Obama so intent of protecting these two groups? Food stamps and welfare are meant to help those struggling to find work, not criminals and lotto winners. It seems like liberals just love spending our money, regardless on who. They love to punish hard-working taxpayers to reward child molesters and gamblers. Insane. But that's all coming to an end. President Trump is ending such abuses and getting federal programs back on track. Yet another reason you should be happy he won. One, Kaepernick just started work at his new job after becoming NFL's guest loser, look what he's doing. From the moment 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick decided to take a knee for the national anthem and also show his disrespect for the police, he hasn't been able to get back up again. What would end up being the former sports star's final season, turned into an anti-American legacy he created for himself of hateful sideline antics that ultimately sealed his fate. Even with as bad as things have gotten for the disgraced sports star, people were completely shocked to see where he just showed up this week. Kaepernick wasn't picked up by another team who rightfully didn't want to risk their reputation in signing him. As NFL players across the country are busy training for the new season this week, Kaepernick was spotted in the least likely of places, far from the football field. It's fair to say that the former pro athlete now has even more reputation to salvage than he does time on his hands. He's out of work and the gravity of his decisions last season are being felt now in the training season more than when he was passed over by every team in the NFL during his free agency a couple of months ago. As his former colleague's condition for the upcoming season, Kaepernick humiliated himself by being seen outside a New York City parole office. Kaepernick has kept himself out of the limelight recently and nobody really knew what he was up to until he surfaced for the first time in a long time this past Monday. Alan B. West reports, Kaepernick spent the day standing outside a New York City parole office handing out two boxes of custom-made suits. The purpose wasn't just for the players' Know Your Rights camp, which aims to make parolees better equipped to achieve gainful employment and live more productive lives, as the mission statement explains. The public appearance also seemed to be an attempt at improving public relations for the anti-cop sports star. Clearly, Kaepernick is trying to garner positive publicity with this recent stunt, according to Truth Monitor. Other NFL athletes were busy training yesterday, 
but thanks to his race-baiting ways, Kpernik still is without a job. While the charity is certainly good and the effort a noble one, it certainly wasn't Kpernik's priority while making anti-American and pro-Black Lives Matter statements all season from the sideline. Considering his support of BLM, maybe he could pass some custom suits out to them since these criminals will likely need them. Perhaps Kpernik less inclined to help these ones since they abandoned him after he came to their defense at the cost of his career. In recent days, Kpernik has been reduced to begging for a job which didn't end well for the entitled sports star. As we previously reported, he's essentially enemy number one in the NFL after NFL executives said that they genuinely hate him, according to the Tribunist. They think showing no interest is a form of punishment, the general manager said. According to Bleacher Report, some teams believe Kpernik cannot play at a high level anymore. The fear of backlash is real, especially now more than ever since Americans have an outspoken patriot as president now and not one like Barack Obama who would make excuses for or praise such sickening behavior. When the free agency first began, Kpernik probably just assumed that everyone would have forgotten about his sideline antics. They didn't and definitely don't want anything to do with his anti-American attitude at the huge risk he is to a team's reputation. Not only did the 49ers suffer, but the NFL lost credibility for allowing this to happen as did the sports network ESPN, who sang his praises for this statement and supported Black Lives Matters too. It's hard to take any good deed from this guy seriously after what he did for an entire season against all urging for him not to. It comes across that whatever he does now that seemingly out of character and a public display of generosity seems to be a stunt. Perhaps he deserves the benefit of the doubt and maybe even a second chance, eventually, he's going to have to spend more than a day proving that he's changed his ways, after spending months on his knee during the national anthem. Anthem, Secret Service on high alert after Trump woke up to disturbing discovery on his doorstep. Since the huge shakeup in the White House on Tuesday when President Donald Trump finally pulled the long overdue plug on FBI Director James Comey's job, tensions have been high. While millions of Americans applauded our president for his assertive move, liberals were furious, despite Trump finally making good on their previous demand to fire Comey. Had it been Obama who did it, there would be no recourse, however, Nothing Trump does goes without a negative response from the incensed left as he was reminded of when he woke to a disturbing discovery right outside his door. Corruption in the administration is something that liberals cannot live without and when Trump cleans house, they take it as an invitation to stoop to ever-increasing new lows. How easily and conveniently they forget that just a few months ago the left was calling for Comey's termination, but now that they got it, they flip the script on Trump. Chaos has since ensued and now the White House is on high alert for good reason. Our president was first attacked on social media by liberals from their safe spaces who had something to say, including loudmouthed celebrity windbag Whoopi Goldberg. While this is the common immediate response, it was just the start of worse to come as was soon realized with what showed up on White House doorstep. Less than 24 hours after Trump made one of the best decisions in his presidency to date, Swarms of angry and aggressive anti-Trump protesters took it to the streets directly in front of the White House. They were there to spread their hate for our president who answered their call for Comey's firing a few months earlier but wanted to cause a riot about it now. However, it didn't end there nor did it end well. These protesters know no bounds and as the size of the pack grew, so did the fury. Their aggressive nature became a threat to our president's life since all it would take is a split second for one of them to do something even more stupid than they already were. Secret Service kept them at bay the best they could as the ranting got louder and more out of control. The crowd is mostly forming because Americans want to protest the firing of FBI Director James Comey, who was helming the investigation into Trump's possible Russian ties. The protesters, like many others, are demanding a special prosecutor be assigned, Mediate reported. It's an interesting new opinion considering that in November, Democrats were wanting Comey fired for doing things that hurt Democrats, of course. When he closed the case on Hillary Clinton right before the election, he was in their good graces again, but it was only a matter of time before he did something else that crossed their party line.
Many blame Comey for Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton's losing the election. Comey famously released a letter to Congress just before the November 8 election indicating that he was reopening an investigation into how Clinton handled classified emails, LifeSet reported. The demonstration formed outside the White House on Tuesday was referred to as an emergency rally by MoveOn.org on Twitter, where they begged for more degenerates to show up, many seemed to answer the call. Crowd rallying at the White House for hash Comey firing and chanting Yates' big turnout despite being planned a few hours ago hash resist, one Twitter user proudly posted on social media. White House crowd now chanting rule of law another protester tweeted from the scene. Some of the same people who wanted Comey fired a few months ago and protested for that were now screaming for a special prosecutor to investigate Trump who gave them what they wanted. True to liberal form. They made no sense and only wanted to be outraged at something it seems. Liberals are grossly misguided in what they want, or say they want, going the way of resistance solely for the sake rebuking our commander-in-chief on every decision and move he makes. They are willing to switch their stance on any given matter the second they receive the battle cry to do so, for which they mindlessly and blindly follow. Perhaps our president could use a reverse psychology tactic on them since they are so programmed and predictable with these antics. Antics.